curry comes with some pigeon peas. Yeah, season up. All right, this curry is ready. Turn this up. That smells, smells so good, right? <laughs> I don't pan up my All right, we're gonna grate this half a potato in there. Now we're gonna add all this peas in there. Curry kongs with peas. Kev, you wanna try this? Bon oh my god. So let's try this. That is too good. I, I could just. Mm. I can't stop eating. Too legit to quit. <laughs> Hey everyone, how are you and welcome back to Amazing Outdoor Cooking. Curry comes. This one is gonna be so good. I cannot wait to finish cooking this. So we're gonna do some nice kongs, curry kongs with some pigeon peas. And like I say, it's gonna be so good. Now I have like two pounds of kongs from the Bahamas and it is so expensive. It's like $25 a pound. So I bought two pounds and what we're gonna do, we're gonna eat this with dal puri roti. By the way, it's gonna be so good. All right, so very quickly, let me show you what we have to work with. Obviously, salt, kosher salt, sazon. We're gonna use mustard with this, black pepper, All right? This is our season, our bandania or, or um, culantro. We have thyme, porina, uh, cherry peppers, curry leaves, garlic, onion, and uh, scallion. That is our seasoning. I don't have any pimento peppers, but that's okay. The curry, I have, so it's two power kongs and like 10, 12 ounces of uh, the pigeon peas. So the curry, we have two tablespoons of curry, uh, half a tablespoon of saffron, half a tablespoon of anchar masala, and maybe quarter to half uh, jeera. So that will be good for that. So what we're gonna do, um, this kongs, I'm gonna go inside, Cut it up, wash it with the juice of a lime and some water. But, um, and also I had this conks uh, tenderized one time. Because if we do it two, three times, it's gonna, I like, just fall apart, so one time. So we're gonna get all this together. I'm gonna blend up the season, cut up the conks. We're gonna come out here, season it, and we're gonna cook it. And um, like I said, we're gonna eat that with some dapper roti. It's gonna be so good. All right, so. What we did, we, we like I said, we cut up the conks into nice size, as you can see, like little chunks, right? Wash with um, lime juice and water. So this is clean, smells really good, right? And we did the season. Chop up all that season. So we're gonna start seasoning this conk right now. First thing, salt. I like using kosher salt, some kosher salt. Black pepper. That's good. And mustard. Mustard goes really good, really good with curry. And um, okay, hold on one second. Oh. <laughs> okay, there we go. Put that back on. Just a little. I'm gonna put some sazon in there. I love using sazon. It's, it's so much flavor with this sazon. <clears throat> put that aside. And some seasoning. I'm gonna turn this up really good. That's okay. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna leave just this little bit to add to the end, just to, just to freshen up that flavor. Yeah, season up. That's good, get this out of the way. Okay, good. 
<laughs> Alright. Okay, so we're gonna add a little water to this. To this curry mixture. This is the perfect mix. Let's get this aside. Put that there. Okay. And here we have, so in our oil, we're gonna add some oil to that pot first. Let me add that oil first before we do anything. Just a little oil. We're gonna add the onion, the curry leaves, and let me just get this thyme aside. Just drop that thyme there. Okay, so curry leaves, onions, uh, pepper, and garlic. This half a potato you see, and I didn't talk about it in the beginning, but this, I'll show you exactly what we're gonna do with this half a potato. I'll put this to the side. Drop that in there. Garlic. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that is strong. That is looking so good already. And the smell. Curry mixture goes right off. I love that song. This we're gonna we're gonna um, add to that season uh, water. Uh, just a little water in there. And we're gonna cook that curry for a few minutes. Oh, that smell is so good. So good. We're just gonna let that keep cooking. Oh. Whoa, that smells good. That smells so good. So, if you're enjoying this video, please subscribe because we need uh, for you all to subscribe. Subscribe. If you subscribe, you're going to help out our channel so much. Trust me. So let's get back to this. Turn this up a little. A little more water. And just cook that. For a few minutes. Oh, that is smelling really, really good. Really, really, really good. All right, this curry is ready. See how it, it's like a paste? And now we're gonna add all this conch in there. And I'll get all that in a little bit. Turn this up. To my Instagram people, Curry Kong. Ooh, that's smelling so good. Oh my God, that smells so good. Nice. All right, so we're gonna cover this. Before we cover that, we're just gonna drop the thyme in there. And we're just gonna cover. All right, so we're gonna let that cook. And um, we'll come back, we'll add some uh, 
some of that seasoned water we talked about and we're gonna add that peas and I'll show you that 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 um that potato what we're gonna do with that you're gonna like that part so yeah so we'll be right back all right let's check on the skunks remove that cover mm, that's oh how is that smell V beautiful Smells like a river cook kind of thing. <laughs> Seriously. That is looking so good. All right, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna add this seasoned water in there because it needs water now. I'll add a little extra water. This extra seasoning, we're gonna put in right, right now. Let's get rid of that right now. And, a little more water. We're gonna eat this with dalpuri roti, so. Oh my God, Kev, what do you think? That so smells delicious. so <laughs> good, right? I don't pan up my All right. <laughs> so here we have half of a potato. You know what we're gonna do with this? We're gonna grate this half a potato in there. And the reason for doing that, the reason for doing this, is because we want a nice, not too thick, not too thin sauce. And you're gonna get that like, you know when you're eating dalpuri roti, you have that curry potato, and it's so good. That is why I'm using this half a potato. So we're gonna get that um, potato flavor and that little thickness of the sauce and like I say not too thick not too thin and it's gonna be so good should we um should we like think that it's gonna be so good yeah it should be a thing it should be a thing it's so good it is so good on the back you put your malicious your malicious yeah and that curry potato water is gonna thicken up that a little bit Then we'll check on this and what we're gonna do. Cause the peas don't take that long, that pigeon peas ain't gonna take <laughs> that long to cook. We want to take them that sauce, I know we're gonna come back and add a little water. And when we add that water, we're gonna add that pigeon peas. So again, my friends, please like, share, and please subscribe, you know. Uh, we will appreciate it that much. Please subscribe. And to my Instagram people, Stop just looking at that 30, 50 seconds video. Go to YouTube and check out the full video, okay? But I love you all still, <laughs> you know? So, yeah, support. we talk to you later. Nice. Cooking in slow heat. Now I think it's the time that we're gonna add all the peas in there. Yes. Turn that up really good. This is gonna be really good. So good. I'm gonna add a little more water in this. You see how nice and thick that sauce is? Uh, oh, I should have, I should have showed you. I should have done that before I add that water, but even self put in that water. You know, that sauce is gonna thicken up a little more. And with that dalpuri roti, huh, Kongs, V, what do you think about the pepper in that? No, it have pepper. Pepper good? Yeah. Yeah. So, Kongs, we got pigeon peas, and that dalpuri roti, that's gonna be the yamalicious? <laughs> that is gonna be the yamalicious thing. So we're gonna lay that cook, cover it, we ain't gonna dis disturb, Let's go. That piece alone is good. You say what? I could eat, I could eat that, that curry curry piece by itself with <laughs> It smells nice, isn't it? Yeah, it does. All right, so we think this is done. Let's check it out. Curry kongs with peas. Check this out. That is looking so good. You know what? I have to taste this. First, I want to taste the sauce. 
Kev, okay, you want to try this? No, no. It looks good. I get tried one. It looks bad on camera. <laughs> Kev, you want to try you something? Said no, one. Oh, yeah, yeah, God, yeah. It looks so good. I, yeah, yeah. I know when I taste this, I won't eat. No. I know. Banana piano. Oh my God. Huh? But is it all the cooking? It's the best. Hey, I see that. There's no so let's still love this. Let's still that off. <laughs> I spoil your mouth. <laughs> okay. We're gonna take this out. We're gonna plate it. And then we're gonna eat. We're gonna eat this with dal puri. I am telling I am I am so excited. Food. I have no weakness in my life except with the exception of one thing. Food. I love eating. I love food. I'll eat anything. We're just gonna eat. That is all we're gonna do. We're gonna eat this with Dalper Yuki. Okay, good. Let me just go organize everything. And I, I, and I keep saying, when I'm excited, I talk, I talk. I don't know what I'm talking about sometime, like the beginning of the video. But it's okay. I'm, it's just that I'm excited, guys. Check that out. Curry conk with pigeon peas. Oh, it's drowned in in that sauce. That is curry kongs and pigeon peas. So let's try this. That is too good. It's tender. <laughs> it's, the kongs is so soft. And the reason I had them tenderize it just once, because of that. Because if we did two, three times, it would fall apart. It's so tender, it's so tasty. Curry comes and pigeon peas with dal puri. You cannot go wrong. We have to eat a little more. Just, just a little more. Just a little more. Hold on one sec. Mmm. Mustard. You have to put it out there. The, um, hey, the curry potato. The, um, the potato. That, um, that you see me great. You see how thick that sauce is? Sorry I didn't show you all that. Take up a spoon of it. But the sauce, it's not running all over your plate and stuff like that. It's just right. A great a half a potato. It depends on how much pound you're cooking. Put it in there. And it is so perfect. I mean, I, I could just, mm. I can't stop eating. Too legit to quit. <laughs> I have to keep eating it. This is so good. So my friends, try my recipe, subscribe, share this video as much as possible. But um, you know, thank you. I, I know and I say it and I say it again, you know. You could be watching any other video, but you choose to watch our video, amazing all the cooking, we do appreciate it. Subscribe and share. We love you all. And until then, my friend.